Hi, kittens. It's your intrepid report of the unstoppable Connie Smudge here at Celebrities Downtown Vancouver. I have the most fabulous news for you, kittens. I have two amazing DJs. One, Mark Vito from all around the world. He is amazing. But then, just to top it all off, my hero, your hero, ladies and gentlemen, I have an interview with none other than DJ Boy George. He's here in Vancouver, and he's going to be spinning some tunes like nobody's business. I can't wait to see him. It took me forever to figure out my outfit. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you enjoy what I got with him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The first time we did uh, an international gig was in Canada, 2002. So 10 years ago we started our international touring together. The last 18 months have been amazing and uh, you know from, from George's personal point of view as a career he's been you know really rocketing again and he's, he's on form and on a personal level I've been doing loads of music and that's really improved my profile and together we're just we've just been really busy so we get we're getting bookings all over and you know next year we're hitting North America as well and we're going to be touring heavily so we should be over here regularly. Vancouver is one of my favorite cities in the world so from traveling all over I really really like Vancouver I love the people of the vibe. <laughs> Quick question off the top of my head here. So when you're playing a gig, you have like sort of a set list. Do you ever sort of? No, never, never. No, you never alter never. from that. No, I never. No, I never have a set list. Oh, so oh. No, it's random. Sometimes I play things I've never heard. Shut up, really? <laughs> Ask Mark, it freaks him out. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, like, sometimes I'll actually play stuff. I mean, you know, um, I'll, I've heard it like briefly. But I think, oh, I want to play all new stuff tonight. So I just take a risk. And, you know, usually it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. I think it's exciting. You know, I think that's what makes it fun. Breaking through the myth and getting to the meat, like meeting people and knowing that they're not just out to meet boy George, but to understand who George is. How do you do that? Like, I'm a minuscule, minuscule star, and I find it tough to figure out what people want from me. Um, I think you have to stop worrying about stuff like that. I think when I was very young, I was obsessed with people liking me. And I think uh, for a lot of famous people, that's a starting point. You start in this business partly because you kind of, you want to feel loved and you probably equate sort of mass hysteria and attention with being loved. And mm -hmm. then you kind of realize that that doesn't fill the void. And so you look for other things and we all know that story. Mm. Um, I think as you get older, you know, I don't know, I, I've just found that people treat you, how you feel about yourself is really, really vital and I think that's what makes the difference. If you feel good about yourself, people are generally quite nice. New Year's resolutions, anything? Well, my New Year's resolution is the same as it's been for the last four years and that is to have as much fun as possible. You know, fun is a, a concept I've grasped as I've got older. You know, I, I didn't really understand it. If you'd have asked me, 10 years ago, am I happy? I would have kind of found the question a bit baffling. Whereas now it's something I kind of invest a lot of time in, I really do. And I, what I found is that happiness is really in the mundane. You know, the big stuff's kind of a bonus, but you know, happiness is really about getting up in the morning and you know, having your breakfast, being with your friends, all the kind of really mundane things are what make you really happy. And then everything else kind of is a bit of a bonus, but it's, it's not the important stuff. <laughs> kittens the stars of the night i had such a good time i want to thank mark vito and the fabulous boy george and of course celebrities nightclub and i want to thank you for having a little piece of magic right here in vancouver i still am your intrepid reporter the unstoppable connie smudge reporting for outlook tv <gasps> yeah